in what appears to have been an incredible year for researchers working together, or I should say in collaboration, in regards to reducing Ebola as a global threat, have come out with some incredible studies. This study I like in particular because of the way it works. Now we're not talking vaccine or treatment once a disease has basically taken a foothold in the person's immune system. This one titled, Asian Herb Holds Promise as Treatment for Ebola Virus Disease. That's the public citation title. The citation title for journals is Tex Texas. It, it was actually published or the research was done in the Texas Biomedical Research Institute. But the title, Two poor channel control Ebola virus host cell entry and our drug targets for disease treatment published this 27th of February 2015 in the Journal of Science. Citation will be down below. And this is a quote from the research. And, I, and you'll understand why I like this uh, method of research so much better than basically treating it once someone has become really ill. All right, the quote. Davey and his team have been working for more than five years on identifying and finding therapy targets for the Ebola virus disease. Davies' research has focused on stopping the virus before it has a chance to enter or interact with cellular factors as that is critical first step to combating infection. So basically it's trying to stop it from the get-go. Now this Asian herb, I'll tell you the Asian herb when I'm done in a few seconds. But to proceed forward, researchers announced that a small molecule called tetrandine derived from an Asian herb has shown to be a potent small molecule inhibiting infection of human white blood cells in vitro or petri dish experiments and prevented Ebola virus disease in mice. Now keep in mind, this has not been carried out to primates or humans. This has been done in small little plates and in mice itself. So it may not translate all the way, but at least it's a good start. And as a side note, a lot of this research was discovered because of blood pressure medications. Because blood pressure medications happen to work along the same channels at preventing Ebola as the Tetradine did. And to proceed forward, the team found Tetradine protected mice from disease without obvious side effects and was the best candidate for further animal testing because it was the most potent compound tested, yet gave little evidence of cytotoxicity and required a smaller dose to be as effective and tolerated. As again noted, the blood pressure drugs were kind of similar, but this is safer. When we tested in mice, the drug stopped virus replication and saved most of them from disease. Davy said, essentially this drug shows an ability to stop the virus before it has a chance to interact with cellular factors to stop the virus from continuing its infection process. Again, this is tetradine. Tetradine is found as an alkaloid found in the plant or Asian herb, Japanese herb, or Chinese herb, known as Stephania tetradine. Tetrinda dra, speak English now, otherwise known as Stefania root. So the thing about it that's so interesting, this is something that could be taken ahead of time to prevent an infection from taking hold in the body. What a cool tool that would be. Again, great year for research in regards to Ebola. Seems like we're narrowing things down. Stefania root, cool tool. Thank you once again for After Channel, signing off.